Dennis with Free 99 Podcast. Be sure to follow us on SoundCloud, iTunes, YouTube, our Radio, Spotify, and Instagram. Search F-R-E-E-99 Podcast. Uh, shout out to the sponsors. Shout out to the listeners. Um, Philly Phil in the building. What up? Uh, Mono in the building. Hurry. I'm the good homie guest customer service, and this is episode 80. Yay! Jerry Yice. Jerry Yice. Jerry Yice. Goat fuel. <laughs> goat fuel. I don't hate on his goat fuel. Mm, okay? Um, I just question it. I'm not hating. What is it, an energy drink? I think so. It's a high performance. Ooh. Endurance performance fitness. <laughs> Shout fitness. out to John B. Shout out to John B. <laughs> <laughs> Unofficial sponsor. Endurance fitness performance yeah. fitness. Endurance. When you see when you see uh, all of us fit, that means he sponsored us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that means it works. So until then... Holler, <laughs> holler! Episode eighty, guys. Man, we made it. We made it. We, we, we're we're twenty away from a from a bird, from a hundred dollar bill. What Are we that? gonna make a hundred before the end of the year? Yeah. Yeah. What, what month after, we after, Yeah, we're in September. How many weeks? Early September. Many, what? No. Yeah. Wait, 20? Two, we're twenty more. There's four uh, weeks in a month. Yeah. We have three months. We have four months. Yeah. We're not going to make it. (laughs) (laughs) No, that's 12. You have math, bro. 12, right? Yeah, Yeah. we need 20. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) You used to work at a bank? Oh, shit. Hey, man. Calculators were invented for that (laughs) bullshit. They had me tripping. I'm like, hey, I'm making me think (laughs) you're right. I'm making it. Not right. We doing it every day? Every day. No, we'll see. Well, yeah. We'll Ep- see. Yeah, we ain't <laughs> seeing shit. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Episode 80. Um, uh, anyone want to recap a favorite moment? Favorite moment of the pod? Uh, from 80? Yeah. Uh, favorite you know, a lot moment. of it's a blur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? You lose count after 20, 30. I remember you were excited when we hit 20. Mono, were like we all 20. not? Yeah, yeah, I was like, 20. <laughs> doing it around twenty. Yeah. Hey, when we get to the three digits, and it's like, yeah, that's, that's big boy shit right there. Yep. That's big boy shit right there. Uh, I can't even remember. Let me cheat. Let me try to think of what. Mm. Which one stood out the most? Lexi. That I, energy. You can't. You can't. You can't that female that. energy couldn't be matched. And there was three guys in a room, and she, she out, she out powered us in energy she had me speechless yeah 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 <laughs> within the first what five minutes yeah she, uh, yeah she didn't hold back i was just like shout uh, to lex. all right what else <laughs> are we gonna talk about now? shout to lex we had we had some we had we have really a lot of bay ogs we had chewy gomez we had justin kinder we had uh, al fresco aka sketch we had uh evan of senior Sig. We had Evan of Adapt Clothing. I don't know. That's a pretty impressive resume for guys barely in their 80s for Bay Area podcasting. Oh, shit. You said 80s. I thought you meant age. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, guys, yeah. I'm not that old yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost there. What, uh, what makes you feel your age the most? Uh, my fucking body. Is that right? In the, I feel it breaking down, The dude. aches and pains. The... Yeah. the the, the cracks when you when you get out of bed everything dude there's no, I, don't, I don't remember the last time i woke up like not feeling any kind of pain uh, damn that bad shit. you just wake up in pain not like me not like pain but <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean but i'm like oh fuck like back my back, my back are hurt yeah my back's always hurt damn i always try to do like the thing where i'm gonna I'm stretch every morning I, i'll do it for like a week and yeah. the weekend comes and i forget for the next like six months does but the stretching I, help uh, I guess gets the blood flowing. Damn, I don't know. this yeah. old man conversation, yeah. bro. No, I feel like I have to stretch too because I have a back problem. <laughs> or <laughs> that that or, or what's worse, that or having to get up in the middle of the night like more than two times to go pee. Yeah. <laughs> when you drank, when you drank Dude, too much. I, I was just yeah. talking to Gene about that the other day. <laughs> Shout out to Gene. I was like, no matter what time I stop drinking water, yeah, guarantee like fucking two, three o'clock in the morning, I gotta get up. Just once though. Just once. Hey, man. see, at least it's just once. Because there's times, I, 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 there's times it'll be like three times. 
I got to get up to go pee. And that means about three to times. Yeah. Your ass. <laughs> you just wear a diaper. Yeah. <laughs> well, I should. I don't know if they make one big enough. For <laughs> or you got to wear diapers. You got to duct tape three diapers. <laughs> <laughs> it's for an old sheep. <laughs> you know how like the, the old people diapers are called the pens? Like for Walgreens, like the like the Walgreens versions is called certainly. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Yeah, that's real shit. <laughs> I don't know. Certainly, yeah. depend yeah. on that. Let me get the maybes. <laughs> get the, <laughs> those well, are on sale. Let me get the, give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get those I think so's yeah, over there. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to yeah. hold it. Uh, what makes you feel young still? My clothes. Your clothes? Yeah. Like. You're talking about your style of dress? Uh, well. How I'm still aware of the sneaker culture. Oh, I was about to say, don't be pulling out 20 year old fucking sweaters. Be like, yeah, I'm still young. Like, nah, bro, that sweater's 20. <laughs> but then they want that now, though. It's yeah, called, it's, that's it's called retro. That's, that's called, called retro. Man. That's how you feel old because it's like, yeah, it's just tight. But damn, I had this for so fucking long and came back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy it shit! Never it never left. It never left. That's why I held on to my Timberlands. <laughs> Tim's never go out of style. Right, Nikes never go out of style. Levi's regular ass jeans. At what point do you? Yeah. At what point do you think you're gonna be like, fuck, I'm not, I'm straight up out of style. Oh, uh, mm. it's well, I don't know. I guess when you go to the club and your pants are bigger than everyone else, right? Well, first of all, you shouldn't be at the club. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> no one goes to the club anymore. Actually. If you're younger than a DJ, you're, you're allowed to be in the club. Ooh. Right? It's Ooh. okay then. If you're younger yeah. than a DJ, well, how? Oh, well, what if a DJ is like 50? Then, then, as long as you're younger than that, dude. And then it's like a like a 23 year old crowd. As long as you know the worst of the song. And then you're <laughs> and you're 45. You're the only 45 year old in there. Uh, I don't know about me. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't. That's a. That's, are you? Are you? Are you? Do I feel? Old? I don't feel old. No, no. Are, 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 are you taking shots at someone? Can I ask? Are you? Are yeah. you calling someone out? But if you feel like I'm talking about you, then yeah. <laughs> but no, I don't have anybody in mind. I'm feeling yeah. old. My glasses. But I can. <laughs> I have to take my shit off. Damn. You got reading glasses? Yeah. <laughs> but I monitor the blue light blockers. <laughs> blue, the blue blockers. <laughs> Yeah, I felt really old when we were, we were talking to uh, Taylor, our oldest, and we are like... She's 12. She's 12. 12, right? Yeah. We were like, do you think you're... Do you think we're still cool? Oh, like your parents? Are, are we cool? She was like, no. I was like, oh! oh. <laughs> but did she ever? <laughs> yeah. And I, and I, was, I don't know. <laughs> when you're paying for shit, I was like, <laughs> I was like, shit, what are you talking about? We're cool. <laughs> but then you asked, uh, didn't you ask if me, me and Misha are still cool? She said, yeah, Auntie Misha's cool. <laughs> <laughs> she she just bypassed me. Yeah, you're not cool. No, I'm not cool. You're just the uncle that talks too much shit. She likes it, though. Yeah, she does. Uh, you, with you, the only person, Mono, with you, the only person having a, a kid in high school, he always thinks you're not cool, huh? I don't know. He thinks I'm cool when it comes to video games. Does he know that you you host many podcasts back here in the laundry room? <laughs> to, to, to him, it's just like whatever. Like, all these motherfuckers recording something somewhere. My dad thinks he's a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dad's yeah. a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> no, my dad. My dad thinks he's like, you know what I mean? Involved in some important shit. He goes. He goes. How many? How many subscribers you have? He asked me that. I was Ooh. like. I was like, what? Like, on which on which platform? Yeah. No, I, I go. I look at him and go, like twenty two. <laughs> like it don't matter. And then he okay. shook his head like, like hold on, what? Like, what? Hold on. Yeah. At what point did you did you think that you were not cool to him anymore? Was it that outback time when you tried to holler at the waitress and he got embarrassed? Oh, that's a good one. I don't know. That one, that I think about that one a lot. <laughs> like, do you think he he sees his friends and goes, oh shit, he goes my dad. I think he probably in high school when that you guys tell you guys when I was making a sandwich in my boxers in the kitchen. <laughs> 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 and he brought he had two girls and and one of his homies. Oh. He had like three people with him. He came from high school. <laughs> I think it was freshman year. <laughs> 
I was making you are that dad. I, I was making dad. a sandwich in my box. <laughs> <laughs> he opened the door. I forgot he had half day. <laughs> I turned around and go, what's up? But you, but you didn't even trip, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker closed the door and said, uh, hold on, guys. And um, you're like, what? Because I look back, I see two girls and one guy. I was like, shit. <laughs> oh, they're about to gangbang right now. He's about to train up on these girls. He thought I wasn't home. Yeah. <laughs> I think from there, from that day forward, he was like embarrassed and realized, yeah, that was a dad move. <laughs> My dad's not as cool as I thought he was. Yeah. <laughs> did, did you ask them if they wanted a sandwich? <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> you guys hungry? <laughs> you got to cut, you, you cut your own crust, though. I don't do that <laughs> shit. Not in this house. Uh, we don't waste yeah. bread. <laughs> We're out of mayonnaise, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you can look for the packets. We got packets of mayonnaise in the fridge. Damn. Oh, that's funny. You, you ever had an embarrassing moment in front of your kids, Phil? Uh, Along those lines, sort of? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, Phil yet. was talking about the, the piano, not like that, but the piano recital. He's that dead at the piano recital. Oh, they around. had a piano recital, and it was during the um, the Niners uh, playoff oh. game. <laughs> he had his phone. I was that, yeah, I was that dad in the back Dude. watching on my phone. <laughs> Damn. But, but to, for the record, not during his kids' set. Yeah. <laughs> I was paying attention. I was recording when they yeah. were, but as soon as they were done, <laughs> I went yeah. right back on. Dude. I had like a couple other dads back there with me. Going, oh, shit. And I was like, hey, you're blowing up my spot back yeah. here. Get away. <laughs> <laughs> you better go over there with that shit. All of us going to get in yeah. trouble. <laughs> That's your kid up there. Look. <laughs> yeah. Damn. But yeah, nothing compared to fucking my underwear. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have a shirt on at least? Or no. Just, just straight draws. <laughs> you want a sandwich? It was like 11.45. I just woke up and made a sandwich. <laughs> that was like almost as bad as the scene from Baby Boy when Tyrese walks into the kitchen <laughs> yeah. and that dad's butt naked. Yeah. You want some eggs? <laughs> yeah. No, dog. <laughs> Ooh, man, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah, I haven't gotten there yet. My oh, keys. you will get there. Yeah. No. Nah. 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 <laughs> He's gonna look at you one day and be like, "That's my dad." Huh? <laughs> we had, uh, we had uh, both me and Phil had. Uh, was it back to school night today? Yeah. And it was via Zoom, so we didn't actually have to go to the school, yeah. you know, because whatever's happening. But we had back to school night, and then it's just on, and then. Michelle's face is in there because I don't. Oh, you put your face in there? I don't. I, well, Michelle put her face. <laughs> we in left there. our camera off. And then I'm over here like scrolling through the pictures and pointing at people, <laughs> and, like drawing sad faces on a piece of paper. Like that person's mad. That person's mad. Could you see everyone else? Whoever whoever allows their yeah. face to be shown. So yeah. it's like a screen full of, like sixty fucking. Yeah, no, uh, I do a thing where I can scroll. Um, yeah, because they have like presentations. I never zoomed. My bad. Tab, hey. how long was their their back to school thing? It was like, it was like everyone meet in like a, a main room for the principal to talk about some bullshit, uh, and then we break off into our so yeah. We'll talk, we'll talk, you know, taco day. We don't have that shit no more. And then they break off into like their own little side uh, side meetings. And, you know, meet. ours was the teacher. She just played a video, like a pre recorded video of the the principal talking. And it was like six minutes. I was like, all right. Was cool. that Patrick? <laughs> no, that was uh, that was Joey's school. Oh, okay, okay. So. Okay public school so they were just like yeah yeah, yeah. Yep. then after that it was just like public school all you hear from us is <laughs> <laughs> hungry <laughs> and what's sad is you're on your phone the whole time right like if no. you were there in the assembly I, I wouldn't be on my phone but during that back to school i was like oh me and my wife are technically on so i don't i don't have to pay yeah. attention i was over there gambling on my phone you're on the slot <laughs> machine, <laughs> slot machine. Like, yeah Water buffalo with Come on, Major! <laughs> Max Ben. Max Ben. Yeah. Max ben. <laughs> shit, I lost a billion dollars. Uh, hey, what's yeah. the most embarrassing shit you guys ever, or like the baddest shit you guys ever did in school? Elementary, middle, high school, whatever. Ever been like suspended? Or, uh, or did something get detention or some shit? Uh, I, got, I got detention a lot for cutting class. Middle school? Uh, high school. Oh. We have detention in high school. At the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, reared it. Yeah. Reared. Oh, yeah. You know, you get the slap on the wrist. You guys still had nuns there. <laughs> no, they had brothers. They had brothers, <laughs> even worse. <laughs> <laughs> brothers. 
Damn. We had one brother that liked to sing all the time. Oh. <laughs> Let's yeah, talk yeah. about it. Let's put it to song. Hey, <laughs> Homeboy was chill, though. I rocked yeah, with him. He, he was, was cool. He was cool. <laughs> he was chill, though. Yeah, but I'd never been suspended. Have you? Yeah, you have, Gus. <laughs> yeah, you have, Gus. I transitioned. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I was not talking about it. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Not a proud moment. Not a proud moment. Damn. Not a proud moment. Hey, but it led to where you are now. True. Right? You got to be proud of that. Yeah. Um, did it involve violence? Nah. Okay. Never. I, I, I wasn't about that action. You still are not. No. It's not, <laughs> yeah. That's not me. You Damn. know what I mean? I'm just here for a good time. You know oh no! Okay, me too. We're getting closer. What uh, he did? Yeah. He had a good time. He had a good yeah, time. It got him to fucking yeah. detention. Good times <laughs> had by all. Damn. Was that a little three day suspension? Uh, that was an expulsion. Yeah. Woo! A sayonara. Hey, a little it, little two year suspension. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <it was> like, <laughs> Four year. <laughs> you want to feel better about it, Gus? In middle school, I deflated all the teachers' tires. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> you are a, you are that badass kid. Yeah. Why for what? Like that? Well, because our yard, right? We had a basketball court, two basketball courts. One of the courts had parking for the teachers, and one of them was just an empty basketball court. We was playing in the basketball court with all the teachers' cars. I wasn't playing that day, and I was like. We let out these fucking tires right quick. <laughs> hey, the teachers got out all their fucking cars are sitting on the floor. <laughs> this is this is pre- what grade was this? This is like seventh. This oh, is pre cameras, okay. so someone snitched on you. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, who was it? I don't to till this day what? I do not know. Yeah. Nobody, man. What school was this? Everett? No, nah, St. Philip. On twenty fourth. That's oh, tight. That if, right? that, if nobody's if you couldn't find out who snitched on you, man, wow. that means it was a group of people that snitched on him. Good old days. That means it was a close knit group that yeah. was just like, let's get them. Shit. Uh, Bring out the yearbook. Let's see. I'll tell you which one it is. <laughs> I'll let you know. I can Phil, read that shit. Uh, <laughs> Philip Burton. Was that the yeah. McAteer yearbook? McAteer yearbook, man. Did you go to McAteer? Yes, I did, Phil. He was, were you the last graduating year? Second to last. Before it turned into an art school? Is it soda. Art school? school? Soda. Sota. I remember when Soda was behind uh, State. Yeah. Oh. I used to pull up to one over there. <clears throat> to one what? To one. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about that since you want to talk about yeah. your expulsion. So, no, back in like, so. <laughs> about an artsy Junior bitch. year, I, I yeah. left. I left and I went to uh, public school. <laughs> Hey, going to public school, because I was in the Catholic school system from kindergarten all the way to, like, damn near the end of my junior year. Oh, big, you big transition. Like, yeah, so the, it's it it was like, whoa. Night and day, huh? Yeah. Especially because I wasn't in a school uh, with girls for, like, damn near three years. Yeah. It was like, whoa. <laughs> this is this is a thing, huh? So there's girls here, and I could wear whatever I wanted. Whoa. I was about that. Do you think action. you would have turned out different if you stayed in Reardon the whole time? Yeah. Like uh, how do you how do you one see your year is a big difference? Come on. Maybe. Uh, that's senior well, year, right? That's, that's, your, that's yeah. supposed to be your that's your marker, right? Yeah. Um, I didn't realize how well I didn't realize how well I had it and how hard my parents worked for it mm. for me to uh, for, for me to be there until I left. On some, yep, Joel Osteen, yeah. on my Joel Osteen <laughs> shit, yeah, you feel real. me? Holy ghost. <laughs> shit. So it made you, basically it made you appreciate it more. Yeah. And then it was like started from scratch. Yeah. Like I knew people there, but I wasn't like, you know, high school is all about clicks. You weren't the big fish in a, in a small pond. And even at, even at the other school, Reardon, I wasn't like, I, I was cool with everyone, but I wasn't in a click. Like no, I, you, I you was, went into that new school already knowing somebody. You didn't go yeah. in not knowing nobody. Yeah, but. It's, that counts. It, but then, like, like but everybody's like clicked up. Mid, at that yeah, point. middle yeah. of what, what? What is it like? The end of third qu- third semester is that what it's called? End uh, of third semester of junior year, and it's like, who's this new dude? Why are you here? What'd you do? And I was like, no, I'm just trying to <laughs> got paroled. <laughs> hey, real talk. It was just sitting in class to get a seat. People copied off of me because I mm-hmm. thought they thought I was smart, and yeah. I was like, you're like you're dumb for copying. Yeah, this is, <laughs> like, this is what this is nothing like this is nothing it was that easy yeah you know what i mean but i didn't I take, it, I didn't that, take yeah. advantage of it yeah private school you had fucking homework mm-hmm. 
And mm-hmm. the public school is like, what? That's it? Damn. Like, I, I think I was telling y'all a few Damn, podcasts ago. Don't tell ago. me that. <laughs> my, my senior year, I didn't carry not a one book to school. I yes. carried a notebook that had the paper that you ripped that didn't have the the rough edges. Oh, you uh, had pff, everywhere. No, I, I had the cool. I had the good yeah, the, one. The clean one. <laughs> the huh? clean one. I had to sit there and be like, just to get that out. Yeah, yeah. It was a it was a crazy transition. It's, Damn, it's, it's humbling. If you humbling. go back and be like, I'll rather take public school all the way through. Would you? do it no i would i think i think uh private school and catholic school kind of polishes you to a different degree like you have a different respect for shit you know what i mean yeah um what was cool about reardon is they had had, in reardon they actually had a production class where we had uh was it the the video production? The video production, yeah. the daily announcements was what? was done yeah. through video production, and this is back in the nineties. Mm-hmm. So yeah. they would do a live televised, <laughs> uh, and it was students that ran this shit from the camera so crew. TVs in every class. Yeah. TVs in every class. That's fucking sick. Yeah, I, I didn't. You would have loved that. Shit. Yeah, I would have fucking been. Yeah, yeah, in that. Ben was in that. DJ yeah. Boogie Brown was part of that uh, video production. Hello, I yeah, took that class. That shit was hella fun. We yeah. did like a mock radio show. Mm. Right. I got ding points because I played a, a, cu- a word with cuss words. <clears throat> Some- yeah, I played an Easy E song. To uh-huh. <laughs> what song? I could have swore I played the clean side too. <laughs> oh, and it was vinyl at the time, right? It was you had the no, vinyl. I had I had it on tape. <clears throat> I what song was that? Uh-oh. Was it Vizali? Yeah. E. What's cool about Ridden though is like a lot of students go back to teach because yeah. they love like they love that culture. Yeah. That's what that was what kind of cool about written. Like there was a lot of like professors and people who went to the school who were who were homies. So that's how you know. Back, yeah. yeah, that's how you know the school really impacted someone that much. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That they wanted to go back and give back. Or just they can't they they can't leave that. Cuz the dude that I went to school with that was my grade is not like the the dean. Is he really? Yeah. Damn. Marble, I'm not going to say his his government name. Yeah. But Marble, we called him Marble because Ooh. The, the reason for that, the coach just said he was sharp as a marble. So <laughs> All right. that's a real a, thing. And he yeah. became a dean. Yeah, he's the oh. dean, but he's the homie though. I'm yeah. not gonna love his shit, but then that's the homie though. But yeah, it, it it was a dope school. I tried to go back my senior year, but the the principal who was who was there was not was not, not fucking having, with me. Nah. Was he the one that kicked you out? It, it was, or was he there when you kicked you out? He was he was he was the principal when I got kicked out. He wasn't the he wasn't the, the disciplinary dean. Yeah, yeah, it was that was uh that was um dun, 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 dun. uh yeah yeah Imperial. Damn. He was the homie. Imperial was cool. If you if you he was cool though. I I whatever yeah. I did I did to myself. Yeah, he was cool, but he was he was a dick if you weren't cool with him. <laughs> True. If right? you, if you weren't you know on track and track yeah. and field, yeah, if, I was on if, track and field. Well, then on top of that, if you followed the rules, he was cool. If you didn't, he was he he let you know that he was a fucking dick. True, but that's just life, though, yeah, right? It is. It is. He wasn't like you know. He was I. Right. Look at us being old and washed, talking about old people's shit. Yeah. Talking so about body. what's new? <laughs> body parts hurt. Uh, so what's new? Um. Oh, okay. Uh, Macho Mano mentioned this, and I I remember this from prior. Uh. At every job that you were, have, did you always pull some work? Yeah. <laughs> es- what do you think I mean? Espe- All my exes and big moms. <laughs> es- especially, not especially, but I remember at the, we were talking about kicking tendons out. Oh, yeah. I, I remember you said you, ha- you had one, and then she would try to FaceTime you when her, when her baby daddy left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell us about that. Ooh, here comes the line. How'd you, how'd you meet that one? I was, you, I was fucking... I like uh, how you transition right into yeah, the model it. story. I forgot fuck. the word. There's a word for when you assess someone's... Uh, recertify. When you recertify someone's rent, uh-huh. you got to bring in pay stubs, proof of income, whatever, whatever. If you don't bring that, if you don't got no pay stubs, then we have a program where you type in a social and then you get all your information. See how much you actually... Exactly. Bank. So you pulled yeah. a, a co-worker or you pulled a... Tenant. Tenant. A tenant. Was a tennis <laughs> did, you give, did you give her all 10? <laughs> I was recertifying. Hey! Thing, yeah, the next thing you know. You're only good like, here for another month. Yeah. 
And it's like, you know what I mean? You sit down face to face with that person for like fucking 45 minutes in a room. So at your desk, right? Uh, no, we pull them into a private room because oh. we don't want you to talk did about she your... Do, did she do it because she thought she was going to profit from it? No, they have to do this once a year. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was her recertification. You just made it fun. Yeah. And she was like... <laughs> yes, my She's mom. the one who actually got... She was like, what are you? You know, my fuck. When that's she's she's like, what are you? I'm like, human. <laughs> she's like, no. I mean, like, you like Mexican? I'm like, bitch, I'm fucking Filipino. <laughs> and she's you, like... You said, bitch, I'm Filipino? Yeah, but, you know, that didn't mean it. But she, no, she was a hood chick, so yeah, yeah, it, it was, yeah. it's nothing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill it. So then on her way out... She I'm was, familiar. He did on, the interview with it just his boxers on. <laughs> <laughs> Make a sandwich. Make a sandwich. <laughs> All we have is mayonnaise and hot dog. <laughs> You get some of that government cheese on this thing. Baloney. Yeah. She, she lured me. She lured me to her place because the tenants have to report, say, uh, uh, my toilet's clogged or my sink stopped up or some shit like that. Uh -huh. Or like we need, I need a rekey because someone broke in or some mm -hmm. shit like that. We have usually we have to go verify. We have to go to their unit and verify. And be like, yeah, she does need a rekey. So she did some shit like that and was like, so she pursued you, pretty much. Bro. Ooh. But what was the spiciest thing that? That conversed in that little room between y'all after she she asked what were you? Oh, uh, it wasn't even wasn't even like that. It's not what was said. It, we were already eye fucking. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that she man. knew she knew it was her recertification day. Usually she comes in and like sweats and like just a t-shirt. Uh, oh, she came in that day like all done up with like a skirt. Her hair baby was fat. So she knew what she was doing. <laughs> yeah, she knew what she was doing. Yeah. Rock aware. <laughs> some pink I go back to her, I go back to her unit. High heel Timberlands. Yeah. Oh. I, <laughs> no nose. <laughs> Wait, high heel Timberlands, but they show the toes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it was like it was actually like a Celtic dress. <laughs> it was like a Celtic dress or Miami Heat. <laughs> so hurt. Baby fat sweatsuit. Uh, Mitchell and Ness. Yeah, went back to her fucking unit, and she was like, "Yeah, my baby daddy's not here." And just looked at you like looked at me. I was like, "Where's your kids at?" She's like, "They're at daycare. I pick them up around 3:15." I was like, "My kids are in your balls." And then I just straight up asked her. I was like, "What time does he come back?" He's like, "He don't come back till later, later." It's like, "I'll be back in an hour." She's like, "All right, I'll go." Oh, this wasn't on the clock. This was all on the clock. No, but like you came back. I came back on the clock. Oh, it's still on the clock. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So I left. I left her unit after verifying. Went back. She called me, right? She called me. She said, I'm at the fucking liquor store right now. This is so fucking embarrassing. I ain't never bought condoms in fucking years, man. This is bullshit. You better be here soon. Damn. Just yeah. like that? Just like that. And I was just like. Wait, nothing was discussed before that. No, but when you look at each other, yeah, you're yeah. asking, what time's your man coming back? What time's your kids coming? Okay, I'll be back in an hour. You already know. It was already it, like. You already know what the fuck it, is about to happen. Because yeah, yeah. as adults, she's in her fucking. You know what I mean? Was she older than you? She we're the same age. So at that time I was like what? And she had kids. At that time I was like thirty. Oh, so she yeah, she had how many kids? She has two. Oh yeah. Yeah, we were we were both in our thirties. So yeah, we already knew what it was. Oh, you are still in your thirties? What are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> I, know, I, know. I, know, I know. I know. I know. I'm in my late thirties. Yeah, yeah. Late thirties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is last year? <laughs> She said, so embarrassed. Yeah, she's like, I'm so embarrassed. I'm buying fucking cars at the liquor store. This is embarrassing. Was it the li liquor store on Sunnydale, that corner one? Yes. <laughs> yes. One, one way in, yes. one way out. Yeah. Why yes. oh, so you I, know that liquor store so uh, well? Just, what? You know, so I go back to her unit. I go to that church over there. Yo, I go back to her unit, and I'm like, I don't want to go upstairs. She's like, why not? I'm like, because if somebody comes home randomly, it's not. there ain't no way out. I can't jump out of windows. It's a fucking second floor. She's like, you're right. Because the kitchens in the projects, they have back doors. Yeah. Oh. So, so, we go to the kitchen? The, so we go to the kitchen. And I'm like, I look around. I'm like, there ain't no fucking couch in here. Nowhere to sit. So I pull out a fucking kitchen kitchen uh, chair. <laughs> I was just like, whoop. <laughs> it was like fucking. And she just did it right there on the chair. <laughs> was that a repeat customer? I was fucking her with her for about two and a half years ago. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um, I... And she still had the, the BDU still living with her? She, um, they ended up breaking up. You know what I mean? How but far after? Was that your girlfriend at, at a point? We were never official, but we were steady, like, messing with each other for, like, two and a half years. Like, yeah. outside meals? Yes, and we Ooh. even fell in love. Oh! Yeah. You, you said I love you. Yeah. 
quick though. You yeah, can't. but the, still, I love everybody. <laughs> I, love, I love you guys. I love I'm, I'm, I love I'm a guys. loving guy. I, I love, love the guys. way that you play with my balls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it when you put your mouth there. <laughs> What are we in? How many minutes is that? Oh, nah, man, it's so early. It's halftime. It's oh, 30 minutes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's a teaser. That's a yeah. teaser. Damn, so you got chair sex in the first night? In the first? Yeah. Did, okay, did you wear a condom that time, though? Of course. He, he had, had to. That. She bought not, it. I'm not going to make a girl look at them for nothing. Right? But, he, but I remember he he said distinctively he doesn't, he doesn't wear condoms. I say after six months... And I knew that she wasn't fucking with anybody anymore. It was the straight was, bone zone? Yeah. <laughs> Garbanzo beans. <laughs> it was straight garbanzo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Making making sandwiches in her in her kitchen <laughs> with boxers on. <laughs> oh, Two weird. and a half years, huh? Two and a half years. Yeah. Damn. We fell in love. Till this day, I still talk to her. That's we're, good. We're he, super cool. We're super cool. He keeps all of them on standby. It's not even standby. It's just fucking. Just cool? fucking strong relationship we were in love Gus would you ever Shit. go back to that as a boyfriend girlfriend yeah. no Philip no? but would I bone again of course I would oh well, that's just a silly question <laughs> <laughs> come on you know damn well I'm not asking yeah, a silly yeah. question that's, that's, uh, I want to get the juicy answer not no silly question <laughs> hey, answer. okay as as okay as a Filipino male and I, you you notice this because we both dated outside our race, Hello. right? As far as like you know, black girls, whatever, Latin girls, whatever, Hello. or white girls even. When okay. you when you when you're out with He's them, keep going. I'm just saying. <laughs> when you, <laughs> in the world, when, yeah. I'll tell you what to stop. Go ahead. I love them all. I love them all. When you're out with a girl that's not of your race, and you can tell, not of your not of your race, not, not even Asian yeah. of your race, girls of your race then notice you more. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Like yeah. Like, like, we because I always look at the fucking Asian bitches with other races. Like, that, but that, <laughs> see, what I always thought What's about that, got? though, yeah. what I always thought about that, though, when like Asian girls with any nationality, that, like white, whatever, it, it, that's common. Yeah. But then for like an Asian dude to pull a girl that's not of their race, that's true. You know what I mean? It's that's impressive. Yeah, it, it is. You get the extra nod. Yeah. Like you get the extra like you get the second look. Like why is she hanging out with him? Wow. And honestly, automatically when Mono's with a black girl, people are, he probably has a really big day. Well, I was about to get to that. I was about to get to that because why? Right? Because yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they look are you at speaking from experience. Guys? I don't know about his dick. No. <laughs> I have no, I, about I have no experience uh, with this thing. Because I, I mean, no you experience. see an Asian, right? You see yeah. an Asian dude with yeah. with another girl, and you're like, especially say you see an Asian dude with a black girl, you're like, he got a small dick. I don't know why she's fucking him, because it's the Asian stereotype, yeah. right? Right. Motherfucker, we ain't Asian, bitch. <laughs> we're South, we're Southeast <laughs> Asian. We're South fucking Pacific <laughs> Islander, bitch. We got fucking tarot dicks. <laughs> <laughs> some be Shanghai's, some be some be Torons, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Pick your flavor. Pick your flavor. <laughs> they got tarot dicks. <laughs> there was a root, bitch. Uh, baby, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Roots go deep. Yeah. <laughs> So two and a half years, that was like a real relationship. Man, that's got to be the longest. But then we, you just you just didn't have a title. Uh, well, I mean, it was never discussed your bitch. because the whole time I had a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, and she knew this too, though. I don't think so. Oh, well, wow. I, I know she's see, she see my phone hella times, like hella texts, <clears> but. She couldn't leave me because she was living with me and she had nowhere to go. She can't, you know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, I have the advantage. I could keep playing on a bitch because she can't move out. Wait, which one? Which one? <laughs> which one was living with you? I had a um, my the, girl, my the girl, girlfriend. Was my living my with girlfriend, you. girlfriend at the was time. Living with you. We were together for like fucking six years or some shit like yeah. that. And she was living with me. Yeah. And she had she didn't want to she didn't uh, have nowhere else to go. So I was like, I recognize I had the upper hand, Phil. I said, I'm yeah. gonna play on, player. You're a good poker player. Opportunist. Well, <laughs> yeah. Did you feel bad? He never feels bad. In your twenties, you don't feel bad about anything. I it just totally feels. It just feels good. <laughs> it just feels it good. It just yeah. feels so there's good. No, there's nothing about feeling bad. Yeah. No. Not in your twenties. No. 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 Would I go back and take it back and do it differently? No. 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 <laughs> I wouldn't. No. Like you look back at your twenties, like everything you did in your twenties, you you did it for a purpose. Like yeah. this is, I got to get this out. That's what right? 20s are made for, Phil. It's like That's what 20s you do it for the experience. Like, man, I can live to tell about this. Yeah. Do the wildest fucking careless shit. From what shit. I heard. 
<laughs> from what I heard. From what Gus used to tell me uh, one of the, <laughs> his stories. Eskimo Brothers is a real thing. <laughs> Eskimo Brothers are a real thing. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I, don't I don't know. know. Okay. I don't know. I don't uh, know. Uh, so that was when you pulled. Um, so she pretty much threw it at you. She let you know what it was. I mean, shit, yeah. All the signs were there. I mean, it was all green lights from the gate, right? How many times did you see her before that actual interaction happened? Well, Philip, I worked there for about two years. So you seen her for a solid two years? Uh, and then... They paid their rent there and everything, right? One year in, I recertified her. Oh. But see, did she work with someone else before? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and, yeah. And, but did she have the same story? <laughs> <laughs> That was yeah. working this office. Yeah. How long have you been in this program? <laughs> that Damn, like, hey, do you guys know? He's like, that's... oh, you got that house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that house. I was about to say the address. <laughs> that's that shit. house. That was your Timberlands outside. Shit. <laughs> no, shit. You ain't got to take your shoes off. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Jeez. I wore them upstairs, bro. <laughs> the kitchen chair, right? Yeah, oh, me shit. too. <laughs> kitchen chair. <laughs> I got a futon down there. Yeah. Like, hey, make sure you rotate that, rotate that chair. That's yeah. mine. <laughs> Wipe down that yoga mat. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. oh, man. That's the only time from a job? No, he, he had no, it was like every job, dude. Every job. He had Except for this job. Except for this job. Not now. yet. Not. No. I've, you have no you interaction. Have yet, you have yet to see something uh, worse. Are you talking about a. Not a, so <laughs> like anywhere in that company. Passengers different. Passengers different. That I guess. Count. Yeah. Yeah. Coworkers. Chow, chow fun. Yeah. Chow yeah. fun. Yeah. Coworkers. You, you can't do it. <laughs> Shit. You can't do coworkers. Forgot about that. Chow fun. I scratch. I take that back though. Yeah. This. Yeah. Every job. <laughs> every job. Oh wait. Dude. Chow fun was an employee too. No. 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 She no. was a oh. passenger. Well, then, I'm talking about like employee. But then if you count what I the story I just told, she wasn't yeah, an employee. She true. was a fucking tenant. Well, huh. that, but it's kind of different because what you do now, you get a you get a wide. Oh, that's no different you know than I mean? fucking project housing. Yeah, with that's fucking true. <laughs> He's catching it on, on the job, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Ooh, you pulled that one on the job. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, she pulled him. Yeah. That's maybe it's me. Maybe I'm too weak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting that's... pulled like a fucking like a. I believe you're the victim. You're the one being torn. You're the victim. Yeah. We just figured it out right now, Man. guys. <laughs> it's you're the you care too hard. Oh shit! You know what I mean? They're just taking advantage of you. I think it's time to for a change. They they see uh, you know shit. a very loving guy and they're you like, know? let's take advantage. They of see this an guy. easy target and they yeah. just hit me. Like oh man, he makes me laugh. Yeah, look at him. Fuck. Oh. He got matching Jordans on. <laughs> <laughs> he got the infrared. Yeah. Shout oh. stock. <laughs> Stop. He's such a nice guy. Let me ruin him. Man. <laughs> Every job. How many jobs are you? Have? I was okay. Baby mama uh -huh. from the mall. We were working. At, we were working at the mall. Uh huh. And from the same job, an ex girlfriend of fucking four years. <laughs> For the same, 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 same job. job. But once my baby mama quit uh, because she was pregnant. The with <laughs> with, with, with the, Teo? They, yeah. Oh, you the dirty bitch. So, so she, she had... She, hey, he's not dirty. He's oh, innocent. he's a dirty bitch. You know, out one, in one. That's, yeah. that's the rule, man. He just has a big heart. Yeah. He just has a big heart. Damn. Yeah, dude. Shit. I can't believe they take but advantage of you like that. <laughs> you didn't pull Chung, though, right? But he, everyone tried to, right? Chung, Chow Fun? No, uh, oh, 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 Chung at Abercrombie. Yeah. Yeah. What is, what is this name? Uh, Jamie from, Jamie from uh, Real World. Real, Real World? Oh. Yeah, she worked at Abercrombie with us. Oh. Everyone was trying to get at her. Before or after she got on the show? It was, this was right before Real World. She quit for she Real quit World. She quit Abercrombie right? yeah. for Real World. We were like, where you going, bitch? Like, I'm about to be on Real World. <laughs> Lying. Turn on the TV next week. Hey, this bitch is on Real World. What? Damn. I tried out for that shit three times. I never got put on. <laughs> You ain't real. Nah. Yeah. No, you're too real. I'm, yeah. I'm not sexy enough. Damn. I'm too sexy for TV. <laughs> too hot for TV. Too hot for TV. <laughs> Damn. So there, our Abercrombie, what was yeah. the next one after that? Home Depot? Where did I go? Yeah. Whoa, which Home Depot? Rich. Oh, uh, El Cerrito. 643. Oh. 
That's the that's the the store number. Yeah. Why are you shouting out the store number? Because if you worked at at a Home Depot, you would know. Like, what store number? Six four three zero five seven. Yeah, because I was yeah. at the Coma, Coma right? Pro. No, no, the regular. Pro's an OG. I'm just a regular man. guy, you know. I, I don't deserve the pro. I'm just How long were you there for, man? Really. Uh, you just did like after work, like it was a yeah, second job. So, yeah, it was a second. Oh, that was the long at all. He was trying to get away from a bitch. He had a girl living at his. Yeah. <laughs> I was there for like five years. I had a roommate. Yeah. Damn, that wasn't paying for room. <laughs> Jesus, I swear she owned the house. Hey, you be giving fake advice at, at Home Depot. At Home Depot. <laughs> I give, I give the best fake advice. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm like, like I knew yeah. To... Motherfuckers ask me about flowers and plants. I'm like, yeah, that would go great in your garden. Uh, <laughs> like, I you worked in garden? No. <laughs> Where'd you work? Yeah. Even what worse. The, what department did you work in? <laughs> You're like a paint guy. You're paint. No, I was the uh, fucking cashier, one of the cashiers. Oh, shit. I didn't know shit. They would ask me about, hey, do you think this would fit with this? I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, let's see. Does it fit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll go. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. 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 What's, what's some of your favorite fake advice, Mono? Oh, shit. No, people would just ask me, like, uh, does this, you know, like, there'll be like some paint. Does this need primer? Well, which one are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and I would pick it up. Well, I would pick up the bucket and be like, "What? Do you, what's your question?" And as they're asking the question, I'm reading, reading it. it. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, "Nope, you don't need problem with this. It's all in one. That's right there." <laughs> all in one. <laughs> you know, I, I, sometimes I used to work the uh, the return counter. Yeah. And motherfuckers would bring back tools. I'm like, hey, anything wrong with it? I, yeah, I just fucking something. They would say some shit. I'm like, I'm fucking done with your project, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, huh? I'm like. It's cool, man. Right? I'm just I just wanna know. Are you done with your project? Yeah. <laughs> what are you building them for? Yeah. I'm like, look at this shit, it's dirty as hell. Come on, man. Oh, <laughs> so you can tell me, it's cool. I'm gonna fucking return this shit anyway. <clears throat> Need my money. That's a hell of fun. <laughs> man. Yeah, it was kinda of fun working there. It was fucking great working there. Shit. I had the best fucking department too. I was, I was deliveries at the pro desk. Oh, so yeah. So if there's no deliveries, I could just fucking walk Bullshit around. shit all day? Yeah. I would fucking just drive that forklift. Be like, Act like you're doing something. I'd drive the forklift. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be driving up and down the side of the building. <laughs> How many fights did you see there? At Home Depot? Yeah. It wasn't really a fight. You why would you, you, why would you see a fight there? He recorded one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, re I recorded like three fights in the parking like lot. customers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I thought you were talking about like coworkers. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Well, because in that part of El Cerrito, there was a little... Bunch of drunk, hood. Those are drunk Mexicans in the parking lot all the time. Latin. Hey. You don't know what they No are. cerveza, no trabajo. Yeah. <laughs> Racist motherfucker. <laughs> Maybe he knew them and they were from there. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you never know. Shit. <laughs> That's crazy. You ever steal shit from work? <laughs> Come Are on. Sure? Come on. Yeah. Come on. How would you do it, though, to get away with Every it? single time. How Every you, single job. How would you do it to... Oh, uh, Home Depot, specifically. Uh, they <laughs> didn't have working cameras. What? Oh, this was a long time ago, huh, Phil? Right. I mean, uh... What? Your cameras? There's hella and cameras This was like 20 Depot. years ago when, when this happened, right? It was not 20 years ago. Was it 20 years ago? <laughs> I'm just trying to go like, you know, the five, Early 2000s. Five-year rule. <laughs> five-year rule. Early 2000s. Yeah. yeah. No, there had to be cameras because I was there at the same I time, too. No, nah, your, yours had high cameras. His, he's in coma. <laughs> ain't no they made more shit. money than us. They ain't worried about that, right? I don't know. Damn. Um... Fuck, just put it in your fucking jacket. Yeah. Remove the sensor. I was still hella gloves. Hella mechanics gloves. Yeah. Hella. You would have hella mechanics gloves. Yeah. <laughs> the video, the video shoots, yeah. You would have like just stacks of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're great gloves, but they You are. just throw them in your apron and kind of forget you have them. Yeah. Kind of thing, right? So, well, like, yeah. All you got to do is rip the... So you, I take the sensor off at the fucking customer service desk, right? Throw it in a cart with a bunch of cardboard. Act like you're going to the, the garbage chute right in the back. Right, and act like you're throwing it when you go like this. So the glove is in, in the sandwich in between the cardboard. You put your arms all the way in into the uh, compactor, uh -huh. and then while your arms are in, the camera can't see you. Right? I get the gloves and go like this in my pocket. Look at you, <laughs> and then fucking come back out and just go home. I did that with a, a disc man. <laughs> they sell disc man? No, not there. It was a previous job. Oh, shit. I don't think they had cameras working there either, but I. What is this, Sam Goody? You know, you the, the <laughs> magnetic, the, so you beep, so yeah. it demagnetize it. Put Disney. that, and I was in charge of like taking the trash out. 
Damn. Was but, it the yellow Sony? Waterproof? Uh, no. Sports band? <laughs> That's your, your yellow headphones. Fucking, Before it was white your headphones. That was a Sony. It was just a regular Sony disc, man. It was a great quality, by Anti-shock. the way. Anti-shock. Ooh. You got to have the anti-shock. I knew a homie that last day for work was Christmas Ugh. Eve or Christmas Day. Uh, and he was in charge of turning the cameras on at uh, the warehouse. Oh, turning it up on? Turning them Sound on. Sound? Nah. Coma. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. He was in charge. Cola, yeah. Like, his job was, like, to turn it on. Like, all of Warehouse? Well, for that one. Like, I mean, the like, like the... Yeah. Ooh. This is and this was a long time ago, so everything was on a tape. Like the cameras yeah. were on a tape. Cause of VHS. Yeah, yeah, straight or whatever the smaller ones. Cause that's when they still sold electronics. That that's before they cause that's when they had everything. They had yeah. the deep the the video rental. They had they All had like systems. The front, yeah. They had the games. They yeah. had video games. And the last day that he was there, he came like. <clears throat> He came home with a trunk full of shit. Damn. Hell yeah. And everyone had, like, I had all, uh, what was it? What came out that was hot? Uh, Juvenile. Three, uh, 360. <laughs> I had, I had a uh, 500 Wayne. degrees. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Hey, whatever that one was. It's a 360. <laughs> 360. It's like a 360 deal. Plus 40. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. All that shit. 360 degrees. M&M's, all that shit. All the shit. M&M's. <laughs> just, just throwing M&M's. You know, I'm a fob. I'm a fob. I had the M&M's. <laughs> M&M's. I meant the album, but yeah, candy too, I guess. Juvenile and Eminem's. Mm. Just want to let you know. <laughs> Whoa, day. Back that ass up on the blue one. Whoa, day. <laughs> and, he, and hella porn. That's when... Uh, they had porn at Warehouse? They had yeah. porn at Warehouse. They had a separate section. Oh, yeah. shit. Uh, the beady curtain. Damn. <laughs> Make hella noise when you walk in. Yeah. <laughs> Someone went in. Yeah, yeah. Or that long ass beep. <laughs> beep. Yeah. Beep. Or they had the turnstile, the hella squeak, like, come on, man. I was like, whatever debutantes, dog, on your last day, get me whatever debutantes. I'm with that. That was Ed Powers. Ed Powers. <laughs> Ed Powers, dirty debutantes. Holy shit. Like, it was like mixtapes. You know, mixtape 20. Yeah. Dirty debutantes. Dirty debutantes. Uh, yeah, he, and I remember another dude worked at Copeland's on his last day. R.I.P. Oh, the one in Ceremony? All the home. I'm not gonna say where it was, but we smoked weed. Come on, we smoked man. weed in the bed. You work there? I didn't work there. Oh, oh, I know who worked there. Yeah, yeah. We, we smoked weed in the bathroom at Copeland's <laughs> during like <laughs> operating hours. <laughs> oh my god, I miss hilarious. Copeland's. Oh, that's when Jordans were right there. There's never been a replacement, a true no. replacement of Copeland's. Hell to no. have the shoe game and like everything else, like everything and like good shit too, because like Sports Authority, dude, they have, like, yeah, they good had, shoes. had good, they had good shoes. Yeah, a couple of that good. And then shoes. there was a. That's where I got my Diodorus. Sports basement it doesn't really know nah. everything. What's that one in ceremony? That one's kind of close, but it, it, it don't Dicks? get like dicks. Dicks, yeah. Uh, that that's yeah. Well, they have guns too. They have guns at I ceremony think, or bow and arrow. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they're making shit up. Okay, they have so guns there. You gotta no. stop lying to the listeners, bro. Saying, bow and stop arrows. lying to the listeners. Someone fact check me. Slingshots. <laughs> <laughs> They have didgeridoo. <laughs> <laughs> they have rubber band guns. <laughs> <laughs> Potato guns. <laughs> Making shit up. They have guns. <laughs> no water guns. <laughs> <laughs> they have camels. So I figured they have guns. Damn. Yeah, sports. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. No, but Copeland's. Nothing else came close yet. No. Hell no. no. As far as, like, yeah, having all the shoes. Yeah. Hell no. Trying to get shoes now fucking suck. It's all online? Yeah. All it online. sucks, dude. I hate it. Yeah. I, I remember when it was just as easy as leaving during school to get shoes, like, dur- during your lunch. Dude, yeah. When it released, go in there two weeks later, it's still there. Yeah. yeah you go buy them. People couldn't afford them back then, though. Like, I, I wasn't getting shoes like that till like, after high school. Yeah, I didn't get my first pair of Jordans until I was in college. Oh, I got those in grade school. But Did you? Yeah, but... <laughs> what up? But see, Copeland's was like, was good for the two for 40, uh, uh, two for 40 table. Yeah. When, before school, like, before school shopping. Just hella loose shoes on the table. Yeah, it was like, do you have this in my size? It's like, no, whatever we have there is what we have. And I was yep. like, 
I, gotta, I know you got some in the back, motherfucker. I got to piece up a, a fit with whatever. Mm. Like these Fila's. <laughs> Adidas. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I didn't have Jordan until I was fucking college, I think. I mean, I didn't go to college, but I was at the age of college. Uh, junior college is a college. Yeah, JC, baby. JC, Skyline Trojans. Is yeah, that that? USC. Oh, USC. That's right. University, University of Skyline. Skyline. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, like, like what? <laughs> <laughs> or I go to a technical school. Which one? Technically, I go to Skyline. <laughs> yeah. Technically, I went to all of them. <laughs> Phil used to pick me up like for school. And then one time we got in a car accident. This <laughs> oh, dude, shit. this dude hit us from behind. His name was Howie. <laughs> That's right. And then me and Phil, and then our boy Jay was in the car, and we got chiro- We went to the chiropractor. Yeah, I remember right after we got hit, I was like, "Hey, watch this." Yeah, I got out the car. I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck Damn. my neck." <laughs> all, all Phil had was like a bumper. It was, yeah. like, it was like two screws of the bumper <laughs> from the license plate of the other car. Yeah, you got, got cashed out. Yeah, we got fucking back massages every week. Yeah, that like, was hella funny. Talking about the MPZ or? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, MPZ was a thing. MPZ was a whole vibe. I, uh, I missed that era. Bar. Like, I never I hit it. it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, everyone knew about it, but I I never I never went. Cause I, was, I was always scared. Like, I don't want to go. What if that day I'm yeah, going to get cut? A sting, right? right? Yeah, what if you, that day? You had that Fresh Prince uh, episode yeah. running through. Oh, shit. <laughs> There was this government program to where back, I think it was in the 60s or 70s, <coughs> they had this program in San Francisco to where it was a, uh, it was like a whorehouse and he, the government, the CIA paid the hookers to give their, their John's acid to see how they would react. Oh, you're really? talking about MK Ultra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real. That's true. That's real shit. That's real shit. One of the dudes jumped out, uh, jumped out a window quote unquote yeah but yeah. really so wait say that again so yeah. back it was like the 60s or 70s right? yeah so uh-huh. there was specifically one incident because i listened to this shit i'm like there's yeah. a dude there's a hotel downtown it was in north beach i'm uh-huh. not gonna say which one but uh there's a one-way mirror so a hooker was at a bar she would fucking go fucking fish out john's yep. brought one back she spiked his drink with fucking acid this nigga started tripping she did the whole shit and the fucking um, the CIA would, this, would just was, observe. They were on the other side of the one-way mirror, yeah. and they were trying to tell her, like, see if you how much you can manipulate this motherfucker to do this and believe that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they were taking notes, like, what's the dose of this one? See, what's the dose of that one? Never trust it. And and that's the same thing with uh, the hate street, uh, the hate street, free, the hate free clinic, right? Where was was that on? That's on hate. The I didn't hear hate about that. Free, that that was the the free clinic that. Shut down after like that whole thing busted. Wow. They were doing the same thing. Was that involved with it? Kinda. It, it, they were like it working together because it was during like that that uh, like the that love, era. the love summer yeah. of love, the hallucinogen era where everyone was like See. deep in those drugs. Can't trust the government. Um, That's just fucked up. How motherfuckers really your own government really really used psychedelic drugs. To see if they could manipulate motherfuckers. Psychological you know warfare. What? That's not the that's not the worst thing they've done. And they admitted it. And, and motherfuckers happens. still don't believe it. You're stupid if you don't believe it because they admitted it themselves. But what's worse than that, Phil? What are you talking about? Come on, man. Look what's going on today. Oh yeah, that's just true. saying. <laughs> <laughs> Here you bro. Just say. But it, it's different now because I feel like it's not even a government thing, it's a world thing. It's like you know what I mean? Like it's the was it's, it? A, it's the the, the, the rich rich. It's not even the, it's not even the government. It's like the people behind the government Ill- that are Illuminati higher elite, higher than them, dude. Just Think so? running there are shit. Those. Just running shit. Dude. Yeah. Everybody the, is a puppet, dude. The the, the uh, what are they called? The lizard people. I know you're talking about. Uh, Mono knows. Hey, Mono knows all my references. talking about reptilians. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's a reptilian, Mono? Uh, this is some people from back in the day. They believed that um, there was a half human kind hybrid hybrid from somewhere else. They came down with they had they had hella knowledge that we didn't have, and they gave and us technology, and they passed down the game and technology to us and helped human race advance to what we are now. That's it. They gave them iPhone fives and back in the 1800s and like. Figure it out. Took us a hundred years. Like, all right, we got it now. <laughs> got iPhone five back then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
Who got the iPhone one? <laughs> That's um. I like where this is going. You know, I like this rabbit hole we're going down right now. No, no, real talk, right? Because uh, have you have you done ayahuasca? No, yeah. but I've done DMT. Right? I've done DMT, and it's the shortcut, basically. It's the it's like the vape version of smoking weed. Um, no, not really. No, Speak but it, it's a shortcut. It's a yeah. shortcut, and it's not as long. And, sure, it's not as long? and it's not as intense. You gotta tell the listeners what yeah. what your DM- first uh, ayahuasca, what's... then DMT. Uh, ayahuasca. What is it? The the it's a native to Peru. It's a plant. The natives mix it with, uh, they mix it into a tea. And it makes you trip out, hallucinate, similar to shrooms, because that's what people can relate to the most, because yeah. we're familiar with shrooms. But it takes you to a spiritual place where you look at, you have a, you have a trip to the point where you change your perspective on everything in a positive way, because there's not one person or one recorded case out there of someone doing ayahuasca and coming back with negative feedback. Like completely flipping out type shit. Yeah. So DMT is a shortcut. DMT, aka dimethyltryptamine. It's all in our heads. It's all in our blood. When we dream, it's the fucking euphoric feeling we feel. Personally, I had it in a powder form. It was orange powder. I sprinkled it on a bowl of weed. I smoked it. <laughs> it was a fucking. Was it good? I shot out of the cannon, Phil. By, really? the, t- by the time I exhaled, Just Star Wars there. stars when you they there. hit light speed. Ludicrous speed, go. Ludicrous speed, you go to you go into plaid. I went to plaid. Oh. <laughs> went there, and then you get a new perspective on everything. It's like you, no, nothing negative. Was there a spirit animal that met you? I didn't go that far. Okay. The spirit animal is is around, Ayahuasca, is right? around the corner. I'm at, I'm I'm on the other side of the corner because I didn't hit that much. But if I took one more hit, I would have I would have bent that corner so hard I would have been like, oh, what's up, spirit animal? And that's I like know, I know, it was there. I knew he was just right around the corner. I knew it. I could feel watching. it. I could, I could see the glow from around the corner. I was like, "That's him." I don't think I'm ready yet, so I'm not gonna take another hit. <laughs> How many times have you done DMT? Uh, I'd say about handful. Yeah. More than a few. Five, six. Mm. Yeah. It sounds crazy, especially to people who've never even fucked with psychedelics, shrooms, psychedelics. If you've never done any of that, you're gonna be like, "The fuck are these niggas talking about?" Mm-hmm. It's crazy. It's an experience. It is crazy. <laughs> I think you gotta be, you gotta be in the right mindset before you do something like that, and the right people, right? Well, yeah. I've never, so I'm just wanting, yeah, yeah. Go talk. I just think that if, if shrooms was never your thing growing up, and everyone's either fucked with shrooms or you didn't. Yeah. If you didn't, then that means psychedelics is not for you. That means DMT is not for you. That means I fuck I, with shrooms, and I was like, I like this. And shit. you would do it again? I would. Yeah, but, but you, you only did it once though. Yeah. Uh, that means you like DMT. Uh, twice. I didn't know. I didn't know it's about you. Yeah. Learn so much. It was. Um, Who are you, Phil? Yeah. It was, it, was, it, was, <laughs> it was like that, like that fucking out of body experience, and you're just like, ooh, this is all positive. Yeah. See? Like I, like I really feel like when you do shit like that, you really have to be in the right. You gotta want it. Yeah, you gotta be in the right mind frame. If like you're in a like a depressed state it's gonna it's gonna be all bad fuck up your down it's only gonna be high yeah right? it's gonna magnify wherever you're at in life yeah so as long as you're in a good place and you 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 do it and you'll just be yeah like you said you'll you'll see something different you're like wow that's fucking if you want it it'll take you there if you don't want it it'll fucking bury you under the fucking ground <sighs> yeah aka bad trip yeah yeah bad trips yeah i've seen people get bad trips off of weed and i'm like you're just not ready for this yeah. that's mostly edibles though because no, don't know how if to you edit. go into it like fuck i don't want to trip i'm gonna have a bad experience oh what if this happens what if this happens it's then it happen. fucking happens yeah. but if you go into it like oh i'm juice i can't wait i've been looking forward to this shit you're gonna fucking have the best fucking trip of your fucking life psychedelics is not for everyone free 399 podcast does not condone psychedelics or drugs of any sort but if you're in a good place go do it <laughs> <laughs> Participate one, carefully. Good one. Partici- <laughs> participate carefully. Man. Yeah. Participate carefully. Yeah. Make sure. Yeah. Just be, <clears throat> be responsible. Man. Hey, if Oakland can fucking legalize fucking psychedelic shrooms as a fucking medicine for what is the thing when you come back from war and you're uh, uh, post traumatic yeah. uh, PTSD? 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah post traumatic yeah. stressors. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They fucking legalize stressful. it for fucking. Yeah. And it works. And it fucking works. There's a that lot shit of. Is, it's. it's I mean, I'm not trying to. <clears throat> we're not trying to fucking condone, condone it, drugs. 
but that shit was like but if you've tried every fucking medical prescription from your fucking doctor and it hasn't worked see what mother earth can give you then i will yeah. then i absolutely say try something that doctors can't I give you i always feel like like being on shrooms was like being hella high and being hella you know cuz when you're hella high you're, you're just you're kind of like relaxed out there and then when you're hella drunk you're you're really happy right uh-huh. like everybody's like really happy it's mm. like a combination of the two without being like, oh, fuck, I'm so fucked up. It's sweet just like, spot. Yeah, you're like, oh. Sweet spot. It's sweet spot. It's just euphoric. Like, oh, yeah. shit, dude. This is Jules flying right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have to think about yeah. which album. <laughs> flying. I ne- well. But I, 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 I was just like, I was on my own. Yeah. On my own. own. I was just sitting there like. You're the only one ha- doing it at that time? No, but everybody else is doing their own thing. You yeah. kind of got to be like, because you could try to describe what you're thinking. Uh-huh. And then you're just looking at everybody like, ah, never mind. You're not seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're watching a different cartoon. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, you're not on the same channel, bro. I'm going to yeah. be over here. Yeah. It's a good, like, you know. I'm curious. Self, you your, know what Your I mean? first room, so your first time you did shrooms. And the first time you visually saw something like, Whoop. yeah, what was it? I, I remember I walked outside and then uh, it was at night, and then the, the moon was in the seventh hour. I don't Jupiter. know. Dude, the, was it moving? The, no, the the it was hitting the leaves on the floor, and all the leaves were just hella like. I was like, uh, Whoa. was it like, <laughs> like amplified light yeah, reflection? Every I could see every leaf, and I was like, yeah, and it was night. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, the moonlight was just lighting up every leaf. I was like, oh, yeah, it's fucking cool, dude. Was it moving? Or was shit like, like it was like every leaf was outlined in like light. Tron, <laughs> Tron. Yeah, like that. That's what DMT is like. Every leaf, every fucking leaf I looked at, like it had its own energy. Yeah, yeah. every leaf. You could see like an aura. You could see like an aura, and you could see the outline of it, and it's glowing with light, like as if, and some glows are brighter than the other. Like this shit is lit. This shit's not really lit. It's kind of dying. Yeah. Oh, you're hella lit. You got fucking hella bright light. Tron from '80s. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Damn. And grip. I remember at one point I, I was in the room and I felt like I was in the corner of the room watching everything happen. Oh, uh, you were your own ring camera. Yeah, I was, yeah. <laughs> I was straight up like I was you're like out in of the, body. You're yeah, out of body. I was straight up in the fucking corner, and I'm trying to tell people what I'm seeing, and I'm like, oh shit, you're not up in the corner with me. Yeah, you're not this high up. <laughs> you're you're not on the top bunk bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you need to go higher, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's weird. It's, it's, it was crazy. Like, the whole time you're... Like, you know what's going on. Uh-huh. Yeah. But you're just like, wow, this is fucking great, yeah. dude. But you're getting sucked into this, this good zone, this good positive zone. Yeah. And you're like, I'm not going to fight it. Take yeah. me. Take me, bro. Take me. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> I remember in high school I did acid. I don't know if it's the same. Whoa. Yeah, I did, well, I did it twice that's, in high school. That's higher. That's a step up from shrooms, <laughs> but lower than there ayahuasca. There you go. There you go. You, Take it a step up. Yeah. No, but see, I wanted you the natural this. shit. You uh, know what I mean? Like shrooms is as is synthetic, like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's bro. what I'm saying. That, that's why. Like, I, <laughs> How did you feel? Me. The first time was a trip. I uh, was it a good? Feeling? I've never seen. Uh, I've never seen from dusk till dawn. Uh, so we more. No, no. So so, the first time I I did acid, I was in high school. Uh, we watched From Dust Till Dawn, and great movie. That shit blew my mind because I didn't know she was gonna turn into a snake. Great movie. See? Oh my god! I, I felt Wait, you were every on turn. acid while yeah. you watched it. That's a fucking my first awesome movie. my first time. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really evil. It's a dark it's a dark <laughs> movie. Damn. You know what I mean? Were you like peaking right when the fucking when it came dusk? I peaked at the end. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I remember hella laughing at Cheech, uh, Cheech Marin uh, trying to call people into the strip club. Oh, my God. Oh, at the end, we're in the bar just yeah. fucking annihilating yeah. one after another? Sad. Oh, you probably, your brain exploded. But... Then I had, then my, my friend, <laughs> my friends were vets, right? They, they've been oh. doing acid. So they were like, hey, go outside and uh, uh, he, he said, go look out the window. So I went out the, uh, uh, I looked out the window and he goes, watch this floor. And the floor started breathing. Like, Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. You went outside? 
the you looked out the window. I looked out the window. What floor was it? Like the We're garage? Third, like third level. Ooh. So you're on the third level. You looked down at the street, and the street was the street was breathing. Oh, did you? Oh, it was daytime by this time. Like, what did you? What did you trip? What? Did you like? You looked away. Like, no way! It's not possible. <laughs> no way! I just took it in. Yeah. Oh, I, I I breathed with it. Like it was Real. breathing. So I just like I I I, I matched his Except breath. It, yeah. yeah, I matched his breath. I was just trying to vibe with it. Yes. <laughs> Come on, man. Yes. Because if you fight it, no, you can't. no, no, no. Because I, there's a lot of people there, which is separates the people that it's not for psychedelics. Mm-hmm. And you are for psychedelics. If you try to fight it, be like, no, this is too much. It's gonna I can't take it. Then it's gonna take you into a dark place yeah, for you, yeah. and then you're gonna go to a place where I don't want to do this again. Yeah. And then you're just fighting it the whole time, like, no, yeah, no. Like, bro, you got four hours to go, bro. Good yeah. luck. <laughs> you just started, motherfucker. Yeah. The sec, the second time fucked me up. Whoa, we did acid twice. Yeah, the second time <laughs> really? fucked me up. Yeah. Like how fucked up? Bad, um, bad trip. I yeah, I, I got on my feelings, and then like I walked. It was like two, two, three o'clock in the morning. I walked from top of the hill Whoa. all the way to the Excelsior at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> We passed. That's miles. We passed <laughs> fucking yeah. Evergreen, and here's Lowell, uh, and now Jimmy. were you like? <laughs> was it like a like a fast walk? I felt it was a fast walk, and then only people out on the streets in the, in, in the mission was, was not. Yeah. yeah. So I I felt like everyone was trying to talk to me. You know what I mean? And then there was a point where I found myself walking in the street, so I wouldn't be on the sidewalk. <laughs> Like I, I had my own like I had my own Chris Tucker moment where he was in the chicken coop. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I felt like all these fuckers trying to talk to me just because they think I'm on the same shit as they. I'm not, I'm not doing that kind of drugs. I do different drugs. Damn. I don't drop with drugs. Like and I got home and then my cousin came home after me and then I was trying to work it off. So I like I was trying to like lift weights and do some, <laughs> do some other shit. Right. My, and my cousin looked at me. He was like, Hey, could you could you chill? Could you? Put those down real quick, and I was like, "What the fuck is two in the morning?" I'm just, I'm just, I'm just hype right now. I'm just hype right now. Like Bravo, get my swole on. Yeah, yeah. Bravo was closed. I was mad. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if I walked right now from top of the hill, I could catch Bravo's. Maybe, maybe. Uh, what's the other one? Geneva. <laughs> but yeah, that that was uh. Yeah, you so, straight jumped at the acid, huh? Oh well, yeah. We, we used to do whippets in high school. Y'all ever do oh, that? Oh come on, I did all case, bro, in like five <laughs> minutes. You know what that is? Crack, uh, crack, crack. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. So it's so, uh, what do you call it? nitrous oxide? <laughs> it's basically laughing gas yeah. at the dentist, yeah. but they give it to you in a little like they CO2 cartridge. Sell it on hate. And you get a little cracker, cracker and, and then at the end of the cracker is a balloon. You crack the cartridge you know and crack. It's kids, movie kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fucking gas. Inhale it like four times. By the time you fucking let go, you're laughing your <laughs> ass off. Like there's nothing funny, but why the fuck am I laughing? That hit, yeah. I knew fuckers that would do that during lunchtime <laughs> at school. Is like, it Ooh. really bad? Because they say it kills what brain cells, brain right? Cells, yeah, they give it to you the dentist. True, but you ain't at the dentist all the time. <laughs> you ain't, yeah. you ain't sitting there. I don't like, think the dentist gives you that much. I'm not gonna say who, but my homie blood, he did so much whippets. Uh, our blue recycling thing that you put on the sidewalk uh-huh. was filled with it. Was filled with fucking CO2 cartridge whipping in a week. That's not. Good. And it was overtime. Oh. But fucking, uh, it was so full. The recycling dude came. He tried to wheel it to his truck. It was so heavy. And it fucking tipped over. And there was whippets <laughs> everywhere. Oh. And he got fined. Really? It was a fine. Like it was a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Why did he get fined? Because it was just like it, I think it is over capacity for the container. That's probably considered like commercial. Yeah, you're supposed yeah. to get it the next size up container. But <laughs> damn, because those are aluminum. I think they're yeah. aluminum or stainless steel. Whatever. Fucking Pretty heavy cartridges. Yeah. Full from bottom to top. It's fucking blue. How long did it take them to accumulate? I don't know. That? That's like in kindergarten. I don't know. When you uh. When you got the 108 crayon box and they all spill out, <laughs> yeah. that's what it feels like. You now know? they're out of order. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I have to sharpen these again. I had a built-in sharpener on the back. <laughs> I ain't never had that shit. Yeah. I only had the, the highest I got was a 16 cal. Oh man, at least you got brown and fucking tan. Brown and <laughs> khaki. Right? You got red and magenta in that field. Don't worry. Ooh. Which one? Purple 16 and 16 cal? Purple 16. and lavender. <laughs> 
was purple and it was it lava? You yeah, got red it. and lava, forest yeah, green and it. lime green. <laughs> I, I always hated the people that had the sixty-four count. Like, man, fuck you, yeah. dude. Which are sixty-four count? You don't you need aqua and light blue. Yeah, borrow that shit. <laughs> hey, can I borrow your uh, magenta again? <laughs> Let me get your sharp room in the back of the box. Let me get your <laughs> silver. Let me get your silver. Or you had the dudes like me that would have like the. The off name brand crayon, <laughs> yeah. dollar store crayon, yeah. or you have it in like a like a lightweight suitcase <laughs> with crayons and markers right. and colored pencils. It was all it was all like the broken ones, all half. Uh, <laughs> get last year's crayons. Yeah. Fuck. They're perfectly good. That's why you just gotta do shrooms. Should be all good. <laughs> Change Dang. your life in a good way. Dude. If you if you yeah. could, Phil, would you again what? do shrooms? I would. I if would. you could guess, would you do shrooms again? Yeah, if I could. Well, I mean, would you do shrooms? Not again, but would you do shrooms? There's a possibility. I think you would like it. I think we should do a podcast on shrooms. <laughs> ah, I can't leave nowhere for the next. I can't leave nowhere. Like, I'm like, pick me Make up. it a date. I got to be where I'm at where I'm at. Make you know it what a mean? date. Uh, Make it a date. Like, There's a church in Oakland that serves shrooms. Really? What? You got to pay a fucking membership fee to become a part of their, like, Congregation, yeah. and then once you pay the like twenty five dollar fee, then it's like you walk in, it's like a fucking dispensary of shrooms. Really? Like they got like sativa and indica shrooms. What? That shit is just crazy how that shit grows though. Like where you're getting it from. Yeah, my, I, ho- my homegirl at work, uh, uh, she's, I, I think she's in the sites because. She be having this mushroom shirt she wears all the time. Oh, I gotta meet this girl. Where, where it's, <laughs> I gotta meet this girl. Where it's like it's it's not like cartoon. tell her to get on the bus so you get on the job. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's not like cartoon. It's an actual mushroom and the name like it's hell of them. And then hey, she, whoever like, you are, girl. Hey, whoever you are out there, you can call at me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'll girl, I'll you. trade it all. Get you. it on the line. Get on the line. <laughs> I got this shit for I'm you. I'll pick you up as soon as you, you need a ride. I will go out of route. <laughs> I'm go out of route. I got this little button button mushroom for you. Shiitake boys. Well, yeah, lately, no, because you know how they have indica sativa weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have it like shrooms now. Really? So if you don't want the visual trip, but you want the body. So I took some like sativa shrooms not what? too long ago, like a couple months ago. How was that? No visuals. Yeah. I was able to buy myself in my room. It was like fucking two in the morning. Sounds kind of boring. I was watching like Food Network. Someone was barbecuing in the backyard. And you smell the food. No, no, no. Someone was <laughs> someone was barbecuing in the backyard. And then the fence and the bushes in the backyard, they went zoo, like that. I was like, oh, oh, it's hitting me. But then that was it. That was all the visuals I got. But the body high. Mm, you felt all that. Yeah. Thing. Fucking, yeah. OG, well just... OG was with me. She was like, you just can't shut up right now, can you? I was hella talking. I was hella talking. What? I was like talking to for like five hours straight. She was like, <laughs> she was like, shut up. I gotta go to sleep. I was like, what? I'm still lit. Like I can't shut up right now. Oh, she, th- she knew you were on. Too? Yeah, yeah. She knew I was on. Too. You didn't have the visual. He though. said the OG. <laughs> ah, I know what you're saying, Phil. But if you try these, I think these would be perfect. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, Cause I remember I was on shrooms and I watched. Uh, Scratch DVD, remember the Scratch? Uh, like the history of Scratch DVD. But you were tripping out. though, dude. I watched that thing like three times, just, <laughs> whoo, whoo, just back to back to back. Damn. Like, like I want to go Scratch right now. <laughs> like, damn, I can't even get up, but it's kind of cool right now. He went straight to the garage and set up his turntable. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, up, oh, blow the dust off. Yeah, yeah. Started Let's scratching go. at three in the, the morning. House speakers. <laughs> Kids Yo. wake up like, what the fuck? Dad's scratching the yeah, yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? Shh, go to sleep. Yeah. Connected to the Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah. The house speaker. <laughs> Shh, don't want to miss the drop. <laughs> You're ruining it. It's about the drop. The Damn, three about times? The drop. You, that was like Dude, fucking yeah. five hours of your life right there. <laughs> yeah. God, That's all, and, and not I to say gone, no- gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, not to say nothing, but it, it, it drags a little bit in there. Which one? That movie. It's dope. There's dope scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, I don't think it drags when you're on shrooms, no, guys. Was, he, he was in that <laughs> rabbit hole, wide open. Like he was yeah, on set. Let's he was. Get it. He was behind the ones and twos on that. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. good times. Good times. Man, woo! Thank you. So this is episode yeah. eighty. Um, <laughs> damn! Shout out yeah. to shrooms. Shout, yeah. shout out to shout out to people who do what they do to make them happy. Just do responsibly. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Be cautious. Make we sure. all need something to make us happy nowadays. You know, 
We talked about a lot of crazy shit today. It, was, it went from Mono Hoenn to to Deep Space. Did we talk about Deep Space? Not kind of. Oh, not really. Well, went to Plaid, right? Yeah, yeah, Plaid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> went to Plaid. Psychedelics. And... I ain't never hit Plaid. <laughs> you got anything to say, Mono? Episode uh, 80? No, man. No, just, I mean, shit, as hard as we work, you got to have something to balance it out. If that's psychedelics, if that's alcohol, if that's weed, whatever the fuck it is. Video games. Video every, games. Happy. You going to I mean? the gym, working out, whatever. Dude. Everyone got their thing. Balance it out. The, the world Zubies. is too crazy. <laughs> hey, d- 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 uh, San Mateo. Eh? San Mateo. Did you see his story today? What, oh, what happened? Uh, he got some masubis. M- Mish, Mish got some masubis from the Takahashi market. Did she get it or did the no, assistant she, get it? She, uh, the assistant was with her. Yeah, you need to just tell the assistant to get two of everything. Mish, no, okay? Mish was there with her because Mish wasn't trying to be at work. Here. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I got, oh, I had a loco moco masubi. Mm. Uh, I had a. Is that motherfucker really $10 per masubi? Yeah, because it was it's what? two. Oh, you know what I mean? Masubis. It's two masubis. Order. It's, it's it's like as long as like a king a size burrito, king size Kit Kat. What maybe. kind of masubi? Uh, that was the local moko. It had the egg, it had the gravy, it had the onions. In and a masubi and a, and a burger patty. In a masubi? Yeah. You talking about there? wrapped with seaweed? You yeah, ever been yeah, there? yeah. Wait, there was Check a my there was a burger patty, an egg and gravy wrapped in rice yeah. and. a and it wasn't messy. You need to check that place out. The 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 Fuck. chicken teriyaki that was pretty basic, but. That's cool because I, I don't want something too off the top. Yeah. Mish got regular spam, and then there's also some. Uh, um, she got a salmon unagi. Tell them what it's called. Takahashi Market. Takahashi Market in San Mateo. San Mateo. Is that San Mateo? Yeah. yeah, San Mateo. That's his fucking hot commodity. Oh yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, pretty smacking. It was ten bucks, but it's like Damn. I was full after two. Like I, I only ate two, and I was like, <laughs> that was great right now. <laughs> oh, smack. Are they open? <laughs> No. How does it fit? I show you. It's it, like a belt of seaweed. Going around. It's like a 34 34 going around the motherfucker. They make it enough. Holy make it shit. enough. Make it enough. Oh, a 34 34. Uh, no, there's, there's no. I, the seaweed leaf is not long enough to go around a burger patty and egg and gravy. And you know, rice. it's kind of white. It's not a full on. You know, when you think burger patty, it's not a full on. So it's like a thin patty. slice it's yeah, a, of it's, ground beef. It's like. It's a layer of ground beef. You get the taste of it. Okay. It's there. You see it. Like, it's, it's like a meatloaf. And they probably slice the egg and, like. But yeah. see, that's what, the only thing that was kind of white to me. Like, I think it was like a baked egg and it wasn't like a. Yoki? Pad. It, it looks like it was like scrambled and then they just it did was it in a, a pan. What do you call it? A quiche. A, tamago. It was like a quiche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just, it was like a, a McDonald's egg, powdered egg. The the biscuit uh, one, not the not, not the McMuffin egg. Damn, you're just knocking the place. Uh, no, so, it's no, no, it's no, good no, though. No, no, but no, don't knock the masubi. That, that's what it is. It's, <laughs> don't, don't knock the masubi. I like no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's, but then they, they did it and it wasn't messy. Like you could rock it. Is it worth $10? Damn. Uh, worth Misha's ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's two, two fat ass pieces per order. Yeah, yeah, you get you get two full masubis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the regular spam is like two bucks. Uh, That's a little cheaper than some of the ones out here. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yep. That's yeah. true. They had a Mochico chicken one, but I, I didn't get that one. So, uh, Chico chicken. Chico chicken. Oh, and then she got a a Korean's out of bulgogi. She got a bulgogi masubi. Hmm. I didn't. Oh, no, Cal- that's, Calby, Calby, Calby. Uh, that's cross. DJ Calby, right there. DJ Khaled. Ooh. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit look good. Yeah, hell was pausing your video. Like, where's this Ooh. shit from? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. You see, I, did I tag it? I didn't tag it. Right? No, but I could see the. I could see the tag. You knew. Yeah, I you knew. knew. <laughs> For those who go, they know. Yeah. Takahashi Market. Yeah, that's and she got some of those the kind uh, cookies, the school cookies. Well, you yeah. say market, you said Takahashi market, like it's a fucking. It's a market. Like yeah. it's a. It's it's, it's a Japanese slash. So it's not a market. Okay. It's, it's like a food court. Uh, uh, no, it's it's the, like it, a corner store. Corner store that sells sandwiches, but instead of sandwiches, they do uh, rice plates and masubis. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, you just gotta go there. San Mateo. It's kind of like a. It's an OG Philippine grocery, the hey, small one. It's fucking good. It's kind of like a Hawaiian Roxy's. Hey. With like a corner store and a I Hawaiian, I like how you right? put those yeah. two together, Phil. You know what I mean? Because I'll take those. I'll take oh, we know you'll those. take anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
Yeah. Uh, Phil, you got anything? Episode 80? Hey, you know, just say, be nice all the time. You know what I saw? I was talking to, um, to, uh, what's his name? Now you know. Mike from Somar. Mike Ramos? Yeah. I never met him, but shout out Ramos. to... Ramos. Ramos Ramos. Ramos. I never knew the bar was named after his last I just name. Found it's spelled that out. backwards. Is it? it? Yes. <laughs> Mind blown. Somar. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I, was, a. so I was talking to him because they are doing the outdoor... Seating? Bar. Okay. Right? Okay. And then he had a shirt on. It says, be nice. And I was like, bro, where'd you get that shirt? I, I've been on that. Yeah. Uh, Phil needs that nice. shirt. And it's from uh, from Marty. Never over. Hey. hey! Shout out to Never Over. You wearing Never Over shirt right now? Oh, yeah. Never Over shirt right now. And I was like, I need one of them shirts. Be nice. So yeah, be nice, man. That's all it takes. It's hard. It's hard. It's for really a, hard, dude. It's it's hard nowadays, man. Just like it. a lot of people. Everybody just want to fight each other. No yeah. matter what side you're on, everybody want to fight each other. But tensions are high for every, yep. everyone's going through a fucked up time. That's all it is. And we're all going through it. That's what I got to remind myself is like, we're all going through this shit. It is. And this is more so a reason we to unite. You know what I mean? But if at, the end, of the, at the end of the day, if everybody could just be nice to each other, a bitch? you know what I mean? Like whatever, whatever your, your thoughts, your ideas, your beliefs, mm. man, like just be nice to the next person. We, yeah. We'll be all right. That's all it takes. Love is love. It is. Episode 80. I'm going to get a, uh, an empty glass toast to my brothers. Just cause. No, no, no. We can't do uh, an empty toast. Just give me a little taste. A little taste. I see, oh, a little, little squirt. Taste. Little yeah, squirt. Right there. Right there. That's good. That's good. A little shroomage. You know I mean? little Episode shroomage. 80 to my brothers. Uh, Monica, I got a squirtage. Thank you. Okay. Hey. Episode 80. 399 podcast. Uh, check us. Thank you, y'all. Peace. Uh, Peace.